break off. Hit the gas. Uh, yep, that, that, that clearly doesn't work. Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to more Gold Rush. Busy digging away at my hole here. It's actually getting to be fairly big. I'm gonna have to end up moving my wash plant and my excavator here pretty soon. Uh, I did dig up a little bit more gold in between videos, and I have just about a, another couple buckets filled here. This should, I think, just about fill my third bucket. There might be enough in here for... Yeah, that'll be enough, I think. So I'm gonna shut all of my plant and everything down. Let's go clean up some gold and see how much we have. Nope, and I should probably make sure I turn machinery off so I don't run out of gas out here. So, as you can see, the hole that I've dug is going to be quite a pit. Uh, and I still think there's pay dirt down there at the bottom, but I'm having more trouble reaching it with this particular excavator. I don't think it's much deeper. You can kind of see the, the ground kind of clipping through there a little bit, so it might not be that much deeper. But I'm also kind of perched right on the edge of it, which is maybe not the best idea. If I fall down in the hole here... You get a little stuck. I think you have to do like a little reset kind of thing to get out of there. But um, a fair amount of dirt that we've dug up here. Still a lot more to dig, obviously. This claim's pretty large. But I've also been toying around with another little trick that I saw online. Uh, to try to earn a little bit of extra... A little bit of extra money. So here's our bucket of, of gold concentrate here. We've got four buckets of this. Hopefully that'll produce something good for us. But then we also have here buckets that have been collecting magnetite. And apparently, uh, when you drop a bucket here, there's nothing that tells you to do it. Just sort of like an extra thing. But if you drop a bucket here, you can collect magnetite that's coming off the end of this chute. And use that to fill up your container. So I'm up to 96% uh, full on magnetite over here now. In our little fancy magnetite carrier thing. Uh, and then, oh, this one kind of broke because I, I messed up the ground over here. But you can also collect magnetite off of this second chute here. So you can actually be collecting two bucks at a time. This one here, you can see, it did get some in it. I don't think it's quite full, which is probably fine since my uh, my little trailer here is pretty much full. This will cap it out at 100%. Does it leave anything in the bucket or is it still empty? Nah, it still takes it all. So I probably lost a little bit there, but that's okay. I'm going to throw this in the back of the truck. At least uh, that was the plan. Or I can just throw it over the truck. That works too. So as I said, I've been, uh, I've been working in between videos to kind of gather some more gold. You know, 3.215 ounces. I think we'll probably get another 3 or 4 ounces out of this haul. But it's kind of a long long grind all by yourself. You know, there's a lot of work to do. Digging and swapping buckets and cleaning up gold and everything like that. It, it, it's not a terribly efficient operation when you're running all the machinery by yourself. So I think what I'm going to focus on today is getting some employees. See if we can hire some people to come out here and work at the claim a little bit. Increase our gold take, increase our profit, which will position us to uh, a little bit better to try to get uh, some bigger machinery. And then hopefully, I'd like to, to move on to another claim eventually as well. This is just the, the first little parcel of land that we have access to uh, because it's pretty much free, which is, you know, right up my alley expense-wise. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily make it the, the best claim. We're getting fairly decent gold off of this, but, you know, it's a little bit hard to tell exactly how good it is and turn everything off here it's i know it's quiet but i loaded in when that was already running so makes it uh kind of deceptive now all these pumps along here are running too even though they're not making any noise uh so we'll get all these turned off and then i'll come back for the truck uh but yeah the uh there are i think three other claims that we can we can try to get onto but they all cost money whereas this one was free pretty much so i'm trying to like sap this one for a good a good chunk of gold so we can, I'll leave the last pump there running. So uh, set this for a good chunk of gold so we can get some money in our pocket and help position us to, to move into another claim where maybe we'll make a little bit better gold or maybe just different gold, some different activities. I'm not really sure. This claim over here, I'm not sure what to make of it. I, I kind of think I kind of think I want to maybe get a loan. We'll get a front-end loader out here. And then... So what I've been doing so far is I've just been digging the hole that's right next to my uh, my mobile wash plant and dumping it straight in, but I'm going to have to move everything, and I feel like I'm going to have to move everything a bunch if I do that. Maybe if I pulled my wash plant down here, I could put put the excavator over here somewhere and sort of dig it out and dump it in. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I want to do, um, but it would be handy maybe if I could just build up a pile of pay dirt and then use the excavator to put the pay dirt directly into the wash plant. So that's maybe something I might take a look at also. I'm going to hook up the trailer here. See if I can manage to drive this thing back without smashing into it. I had some issues that way before. Oh, I was if I take the brake off. 
Or I backed up a little bit too quickly. Come on. Because it's got a... It's on a bit of a hill here, so i got to clear the rise, which I'm not doing. My, my truck is just sliding. All right, so I'm going to have to get a bit of a run out of it, which isn't good, because I'm probably going to smack into it now. Oh, there we go. Let's just drive right over it. Perfect. Um, I think the tongue might actually be too low down now. I can't even... Uh oh this is going to be a problem. Okay, I finally got the thing lined up. That was actually a little bit more hassle than it should have been. Nevertheless, let's get this thing connected. With my He-Man strength, we'll just lift up that full trailer. No trouble at all. Break off works much better. Try to roll this thing. Oh, come on. It's really awkwardly placed. There we go. <laughs> Let's get all, all back to, over to our, uh, our gold cleaning setup. Let's see how much money we actually have in the buckets here. All right, we have our magnetite separator all set up. Let's get this running. Let's get this running. Wait a minute, I gotta turn the generator on. That probably makes things work so much better. There we go. All right, a magnetite separator is running. Let's dump this, the buckets of pay through here. We'll see how much magnetite and how much gold we end up with out of these. Hopefully we'll get a decent amount. We have 3.2 ounces now. If I could double that, that'd be pretty cool. All right, so we had 90% gold, 10% magnetite out of these things. Not that I have anywhere to dump the magnetite yet, but we can always just leave it. Put it in the trailer when we're ready after selling what we have in there. I'm curious to see how much we'll get for that 100% trailer. I have heard it somewhere around the neighborhood of $10,000, and I certainly would not complain about that. Since I only have 3600 so far, that would be a, quite the windfall. Oh, that's interesting. That bucket only gave me 63% gold out of it, so that was... This is not looking good. I was kind of hoping I'd have four buckets with, like, 90% gold concentrated in them, but that one... That one was definitely not the case. Uh, let's get this under here. Show me the good gold. So I did have one of these buckets that was sitting at that larger chute at the back of the the uh, the the portable wash plant, and it ended up filling up with with gold instead of magnetite. The, the gold concentrate. So I wonder if maybe that was the one that had the 60% gold in it. That's kind of interesting. I thought it was a little strange. I went back to kind of dump up the magnetite and found a bucket there that looked a lot lighter in color than the magnetite normally does. And I guess it had about 60% gold concentrate in it, which is kind of cool. All right, that's all done. We have almost a full pail there again of magnetite. So while it seems like it would actually be a pretty slow accumulation of magnetite in this game, if you're doing the little trick of putting the bucket down by uh, by the little chutes coming off the plant, it actually works out to be a fairly significant amount. I filled up the trailer over there without even using the magnetite separator to any great extent. I think I had 30% or something in there. So like 70% of what's in there actually just came from that little trick of putting buckets over by the uh, the wash plant, which is kind of cool. Okay. This is all set up. Let's, let's uh, see what kind of gold we get out of this. I'm curious. I'm going to grab this bucket here that we got 60% in first and just see what kind of concentrate is in here. We, we may not get a whole lot out of it. Okay. We may not get anything out of it. All right. So that, you know, if, if it ends up if it ends up with soil in the bucket and it looks like gold, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is. Clearly. So that, that, that side of things didn't go good. So that was actually a loss then. I really wish it had turned into like magnetite the way it was supposed to. Oh yeah, 3.789, four ounces. Nice, so we're a little over, a little over an ounce there maybe, I think, so far. Not getting super rich off of this, that's for sure. Needs more gold. Yeah, that's the last bucket. Uh, actually, we're we're doing pretty well for the three buckets that we put through there because I got no gold out of the fourth one. So out of three buckets, we've gotten uh, four ounces of gold. That's pretty good. Five ounces of gold almost. That's pretty sweet. So I don't, I don't remember the exact amount I had before I started. It was a little more than three. So somewhere between four and five ounces of gold we took out of three buckets. That's pretty good. Now, I am digging fairly deep uh, in that little section over there. I don't know how deep I can go necessarily, but I have a feeling like the deeper down you get, the better the gold might be. It should be kind of handy. I should probably refuel this thing before I forget to. 
Fortunately, we do have a full fuel can here. So we get this all topped up. Uh, all right, so I have 8.143 ounces of gold. Not bad. Uh, let's get some employees hired. We can get them to work and see what kind of gold production they produce for us. And then maybe we'll head into town and see about maybe getting a loan to get uh, to get ourselves a little uh, a little more equipment to work with. All right, on our tablet in here, if we go to workers, unlock for three thousand dollars. Yeah. All right, confirm. I need workers. Uh, let's see. Awaiting. There's only one. His name is New Worker. <laughs> oh no, it's just New Worker. Norbert Miracle. And what a face on this guy. <laughs> All right, price, $149.36 per day. Work 54%. I have no idea what that means. 13-hour works. I'm assuming he's going to work 13-hour shifts, so I'm good with that. He's the only worker we have access to. So, guess what, buddy? You're hired. Congratulations. Uh, hired workers, then I think you have to actually assign them to a job. Uh, so we're going to be the old Arnold parcel because it's the only one we have so far. Uh, hog pen pump. Hog pen no pump. Hog pen pump. Uh, let's see. Small excavator. Is that it? Our options are hog pan pump, hog pan no pump. Or the hog pan pump again. That makes... Uh, Alright, whatever. So, <laughs> from what I understand, these guys can actually use the equipment at the same time that we do. So, I think I'm going to have them on small, small excavator. Because it's almost like they just sort of work behind the scenes. And I feel like that will probably produce... Did I assign him? I, I guess I did. All right, let's get out of here. Just double check on that. Yeah, okay, so he seems to be assigned. Uh, and I think they can use the equipment at the same time that we do. So it's not like by putting him on the excavator. Oh, look at that. My gold count's going up already. 8.148, 8.149. Nice. Anytime I can make gold where I don't have to put any effort into it, that's a win from my perspective. All right, let's take the magnetite trailer over. We'll sell this off and uh, and see how we do this way. Uh, like I said, I think it, it should give us somewhere around $10,000, which would be awfully nice. Though clearly still not enough to uh, to pay for uh, to pay for larger equipment, but I don't know. I think we'll I think maybe we'll end up getting a loan so we can kind of get a little bit of a head start on things. All right, so down here at the factory is where we can sell off the magnetite. We just pull onto this little little ramp thing over here. A grid. Some sort of, well, it's not really a ramp, I guess. It's some sort of a grill. And, uh, and we got to go back here. And all right, so we have five hundred eighty-four dollars right now. Oh, look at my money's going up, even as my gold ounces. How does that work? Five hundred eighty-three, five hundred eighty-two. Oh no, my money's going down. All right, I guess because I'm paying him. That's interesting. It doesn't come out and lump some amounts. Uh, how do I empty this thing? It's full. How do I empty it? Maybe, I, maybe I'm not positioned right. Hold on. Maybe I got to be a little more in the center of this thing. All right. Tell me this is positioned right there. Now the handle's lit up. So I guess I just wasn't quite in the right spot. So let's crank this. We have $573, $1,694, $8,273, $9,732. Oh, that's really goopy stuff. Ten thousand five seventy. Yeah, so just about just about ten thousand dollars right on the button. That's pretty sweet. So considering I, I didn't really have to do any extra work for that, I'm pretty happy overall. That's some good extra cash. Let's go into town and see if we can find a way to blow it. All right, we're just outside the heavy just outside the heavy equipment yard now, and I think I'll leave the truck out here. So I don't have to muck around with the trailer because I'm sometimes backing up with this thing is sort of a nuisance. Tends to kind of pinch on you a little bit. Um, it looks part of a train car. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so it's this front end loader over here that I'm kind of interested in. Because I feel like we can move a lot more dirt this way. And I wonder if I can just pile up pay dirt and then $97,000. That, that's, that's a little pricey. And a little bit more money than I have right now. But if we take out a loan, I think we might be able to get this. Now, they also have a bulldozer here, but I'm not entirely sure what this is for. So it's $54,000 for the bulldozer. I wonder if on some of the other claims you have you have to actually strip the overburden off in order to get down to the pay dirt, which would be kind of neat. The, cl the claim we're in now, it's all already exposed. Which really makes me wonder about those other claims, and I'd kind of like to, to snag those. That's the small excavator we already have. This is a large excavator, 74000 for this. 
I kind of wonder if maybe I should skip the front end loader and just go with the lar the big excavator. But it's going to dig up large amounts of dirt. And if I do that, is it going to is it going to be too much dirt for our little mobile wash plant? But I'm not ready to go into the tier 3 stuff just yet, I don't think. So I'm not sure. Um I think maybe we'll go with the uh, we'll go with the front the fancy uh, front end loader here. And uh and maybe let me try this thing out. I think we need to have some new equipment on the farm. Or on the claim, rather. So let's, uh, I'm going to head over to the bank and see about getting a loan. And then we'll come back and snag ourselves one of those. Alright, I took the gold that we had and I melted it down so we could get a little more cash. So that got us almost another 10,000, which is good. So we're at 20,277, which is obviously not enough to get that front end loader. But we can take out another loan. I think I'll go with, uh, I don't know, let's play it on the safe side. If I can get this thing to cooperate, whatever. 105,000 seems reasonable to me. Uh, we're earning money at a little bit better rate now, so it shouldn't take too long to pay it down. But if we set this for a daily charge of $5,471, that, that does seem like kind of a lot. So I'm going to try to spread this out a little bit. Maybe go 24 months? Four, no. 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 You know what? Let's just go for the length. Let's go as long as we can. I don't think there's an option in here to pay down the loan earlier. At least there doesn't seem to be one. So I guess we'll set it for 60 months? That seems really really far out in the future in this game. And if I'm going to want to get property later, I don't know if this is going to get in the way of that. So let's maybe set this for... I don't know. I'm going to set it for 24 months, I guess. It's kind of a lot to pay out daily. $4,845. But whatever. Once I got our loan... Hopefully this doesn't cause any problems. We're gonna have to do some serious gold mining now to keep up with that, I think. But I just don't want to. I don't want the loan to extend out too far. Uh, I mean, we're only on day ten though, so like, I don't know how the loans really work in this game exactly. Am I, am I really gonna be playing the game long enough that I end up with two years worth of mining time in this? I, I mean, I don't know. There's our fancy front end loader, so let's get that all out here. Now, I do have to refuel everything, because it looks like I pretty much tapped the whole works out. Uh, now I think of it, I should probably should bring this trailer all the way out to our wash plant also. Since the easiest way to do this is as I'm working along, I can empty the buckets into the into the trailer, and then put them back into place, and uh, keep just keep mining, because it, 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 the buckets will fill up much faster than I can fill up a bucket of gold, which kind of makes me wonder... What's the more profitable play here? Is the gold more profitable or is the magnetite? I don't know. I mean, it took me several buckets to get $10,000 worth in gold, but only one quick trailer load to get 10,000 in magnetite. So, kind of interesting. I wonder how many, like, how often I get access to new workers, too. Because I do want more. I've only got one so far, and he's doing pretty good. He's got me 0.125 ounces here. Since I sold my stuff, I mean, he had already started earning before I sold off the gold that I had. But it would be nice to kind of magnify that a little bit and get some other workers out here. That was kind of a nuisance. In and out, in and out. Where's my fuel can? There we go, fuel this up. I think I'm going to leave the truck here for a second. We'll just run over with the fuel can because getting in and out of the truck and ditching this thing in the back is it's all kind of a nuisance. Okay, get this one filled. Uh, and I haven't, you know what, I haven't yet to actually fill up the excavator. I wonder if I have to do that yet. Maybe I'll leave it for now. Just in case I stop using the excavator for a little while, it'd be, probably be better not to waste the gas on it. Or diesel, I guess, in this case. Because for some reason, these things are all diesel, apparently. This is getting pretty low, too. I'm not sure how much is left in my can here. Maybe uh, less than five gallons, I think. All right, we'll close that off. Let's take this back to the truck. Bring the trailer up here, and then I'm going to head back and get the uh, the excavator, and we'll bring it out here. All right, there's our big steel beast. Now, the day is kind of wearing on, so I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of this. Now, and how do I get into it? Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. You have to actually run up the ladder. All right, so we enter the cab here. Let's get this started up. Uh, let's see the controls here now. So... Arm up, arm, and we got tilt forward and back. All right, so we can do the blade up and blade down, arm up, arm down. This is going to take a little bit of practice, I think, but let's get the front up a little bit. Our brakes off. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun to play around with. Any boy who played around with Tonka toys just sort of imagines a point at some point in their life where they get to drive one of these things around. This isn't quite the same as actually driving one, of course. But, it's a good extension on the little Tonka toy. Okay, so... This is the dirt over here that I'm thinking of digging. In part because I don't really have to dig downwards, and I feel like that's where the front end loader could really shine. If we have somewhere that we're kind of digging more on a level plane. So, if I could dig out, and then dump it over here to make a... To make uh, like a pile of pay dirt for our wash plant, and then use uh, maybe use our excavator to put it in the wash plant. That's kind of the idea. I don't know how this is gonna work. But let's try that out. Uh, all right, so we're gonna need to muck around with the controls here a little bit. So that's to go down the bucket. Hold on. No, 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 no. Fuck it up. This is gonna be weird because like it's like a whole new set of controls now again. It kind of goes down that way. All right. Let's lower the bucket down. All right, how much, how much dig does this thing give me when I drive into stuff? Oh, a fair amount actually. Oh, sweet. All right, so we got a we got a pretty pretty full load, but I'm gonna have to raise the bucket up when we drive. All right, there we go. And then if we take it over here, raise this up higher. I can build a, a pile of painter like right here maybe. I wonder if I if I wonder if I lose any any mass of the dirt when I do this. That's probably my only real concern here. Is like what happens? Does it, does it just sort of does it work itself out? Does it end up being the same amount, or am I actually going to lose gold by doing this? I, I don't know what the answer to that is, but let's dig in some more here. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Did I get a full bucket load? I can't even tell. Let's swing the camera around. Oh yeah, sweet. All right, that works pretty good, actually. Man, we can move a lot of dirt this way. Maybe instead of trying to dump it, and then... Oh boy, this thing's hard to control, actually. Maybe instead of trying to dump this thing on the ground and then use a second piece of equipment to put it in the wash plant, maybe I should be trying to dump it straight into our little mobile wash plant. I don't know if this, this is going to be too much of a load for that little wash plant, though. All right, the sun's starting to set. I think uh, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go head back to the little. Oops. Uh, hard to control. Uh, I think I'm gonna head back to our little uh, our little trailer over there, and we'll set it so that it resets to morning. And then I'm gonna move the wash plant a little bit. We'll move the excavator and try putting some of this excavated dirt through the wash plant. All right, it's a new day. Somebody wants to work for you. Check your tablet for more. Oh, sweet. Okay, so it actually gives us a heads up when there's more workers that want to come work. That's really handy, so I don't have to go and check on my own all the time. Uh, we did have a couple thousand off the top today, so it would be really good to put some gold in the bucket. Workers, what have we got here? Awaiting. One new, one hired. So if we go to awaiting, Emilio McNamee. 32% work on 11 hour shift. I don't, I wish, does that mean he's only, he's only gonna work like 32% of the time? If that's so, I'm not super thrilled about hiring him, but you know, given that I only have one employee so far, he's, he's doing really good. I guess I don't really have a choice. Let's, uh, let's hire this guy. Uh, and then, how do I, okay, there we go. And then, old Arnold Parcel. We can put him on the hog pan pump, hog pan no pump. And then for some reason, it gives me the hog pan pump as an option again. Front end loader now. Oh, huh. Well, I'm not sure how that. I'm not sure how that works exactly with the front end loader. I mean, he can move a lot of dirt, I guess, but does it just assume he dumps it in? I'm gonna put him in the hog pen with pump for for now. This guy is not exactly a good worker anyway. Thirty two percent work, only eleven hour shift. <laughs> only eleven hours. I mean, you know, because you know, this guy works thirteen hours, but that's fine. So we've got him hired. Let's get out here and uh, and see if we can readjust the position of our wash plant a little bit. We'll have to move our pumps and stuff that are over there too, the, the generator and what have you. Because uh, they're all kind of going to be in the road. There we go. We'll drop that over there. Uh, let's get our excavator. And if we put it up on this hill here, then I can scoop from here and dump over here. So I think our wash plant needs to be down there. Try to get in here without falling in the hole though. I feel like that would probably be a good start.
Get our boom in here. All right. We're driving. Get our brake off. Let's see if I can back this around. No, I, I don't know how flat the, the surface needs to be for this thing to sit on and how much of a steep slope it will go up, but we're about to find out. Come on, baby, you can make it. Oh, yeah. No trouble at all. Okay, I do want to get maybe a little bit closer to where this pile of dirt is sort of piling up here. There we go. Alright, so if we go like this, um, let's put the brake on, switch over to switch over to digging controls, and now if we actually, if we free up a little bit of space here, actually if I can come in here with the front end loader, I can make a little more room closer to the Closer to this with the uh, with the wash plant. I mean, I could reach it over there. That wouldn't really be a problem. Maybe I'll try to make a, a flat surface there for the for the wash plant to sit on, though. Shut this down. Yeah, if I could come in here and just scoop off the edge of this mound a little bit, I think that would work. Now, my work over here isn't exactly all that level. Oh, and I do have a full bucket here, so I have to get rid of that too. So this this might be a bit iffy. We're about to find out. All right, buck it up. No, oh, I lost a little bit. Release the handbrake. Send this thing up the hill. Or I'm going to get stuck on the tiny little bit of dirt I just dumped in front of myself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's that's going to be a really awkward way to have to drive up here all the time. All right. Hold on. Just No, 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 don't back up. Dump this right here. Man, I hope I can even dump enough up here to make this worthwhile. I guess once I dig this out with the excavator, I can actually make more of an indent for it to work with. Instead of, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place with this thing. Uh, instead of, like, piling it up, I could maybe just sort of, like, fill in a space with it, I guess, maybe. Alright, put our bucket down. Kind of want to tilt this thing up a little bit more. Nope, there we go. There we go, because I don't really want to dig down into the ground here. I just want to try to try to take the corner off here a little bit if I can. There we go. Alright, let's see how that works to help keep a little flat space there. I'm going to change the camera again. Man. Alright, buck it up. Tilt it down. We'll dump this all out. No, dump it all over the front of yourself. There we go. All right, good deal. I'm gonna get the excavator out of here, and we'll bring over our mobile wash plant. All right, that's all lined up with minor incident. Get this hooked up here. So I'm hoping I can just pull forward there, but I have a feeling that lump of dirt I just made is really gonna make it so I can't drive through there. Well, let's find out. Come on, baby. This might be a rough ride. Break off. Hit the gas. Uh, yep. That, that, that clearly doesn't work. Uh, alright. Now I'm going to make things a little bit more difficult for myself. So I'm going to pull up past here. I try to line up the wash plant so when we go in reverse, I can back it right in there. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. The controls on this are just a little bit wacky. Alright, I need to go this way. Alright, that's good. Back it right in here. No, 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 no. Oh, man, it's going fast. All right. For coasting, this thing's really flying. All right, hold on. <laughs> if any of you are familiar with backing up a truck in a trailer, this might be a little bit of torture for you. I'm, I'm very, very, very out of practice. All right, that looks... I don't know. It's in there. I don't know how even that is, but it'll do. Let's jump out here, get this thing unhitched. Hopefully it doesn't roll on me as soon as I unhitch it. Uh, didn't really too much, so it's still not entirely flat. It's actually got kind of an angle to it, but hopefully that will still work fine for my purposes. Let's just drive this forward a little bit. There we go. All right, connect all the hoses and everything back up, and I think we'll be ready to run. Stick it in here. We need a bucket on this thing. 
Of course, my buckets are over here. I have a couple more in the truck. I'm gonna grab one of these for this. Actually, you know what? Let's put this one at the back. So the, this is the this is the little um, sluice run back here where you can get some magnetite. So you just drop a bucket right there. You might even put two. Let's try it with two. See what happens. I don't know if it'll work work as well with two, but it definitely fills one of them up. Let's try and just nudge this over a tiny little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, yep, the perfect. Nailed it. There's one bucket. And two buckets. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, although I'm being a little finicky with it right now. All right, so we've got that, those two buckets there. Uh, in the back of the truck, we have, I think, four more. So I'm going to take one bucket and put it at the end of this little sluice run. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, that'll probably work fine right there, even though it doesn't look like it. I'll just nudge it a little closer just to be sure. There we go. And we need at least one bucket for the actual uh, the actual gold. You know, because we want gold out of this thing too. <laughs> so that would be good. Is this pump running? I don't think it is. Nope, it definitely wasn't. All right, we're needing some power here, so let's get this going. Turn on our fancy wash plant. Put some gold in the bucket. All right, this might be interesting to try to get the angles and stuff on this, but we'll see how this works. Uh, oh, hold on, lift this up. Just make sure I can reach everything here properly. I think I should, I should probably try to change it. There we go, change to a bucket cam maybe. So I can get a better sense of where everything's positioned here. Is this, am I going to dump this in or am I going to dump it on the ground? Yeah, that definitely went in. I need to zoom this out a bit, though. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Bucket out. Arm in. Nice. There we go. <laughs> I think I have a feeling I'm kind of dumping some stuff on the ground around the our little plant there, but it seems to be working okay. I think this will do. See, look, I've already got two buckets of magnetite back there. That is crazy. I've only I've only put like a couple scoops in this thing. The gold bucket. Oops, jeez. The gold bucket itself is only at like, what, 18%? Something like that? 22%? Hold on, let me jump out. I want to just, I just want to check this. So we've got two buckets of magnetite back here. Even though there's all kinds of rocks and stuff falling. Two buckets of magnetite. And then there's another bucket out there. So that's three buckets of magnetite off of one little wash plant. How much did we get in this? 10%. That's 30% full off of just a couple of scoops of dirt. That is actually, that's ridiculous. Uh, let me grab this. It should be another 10%, so this will put us at 20. Yep. Throw this back here again. No, no, come on, grab that. Okay, those are in position. Now let's grab this one. Come on. Look at that. A couple of scoops of dirt. We're at 28%. So this one at the front didn't fill up quite as much. The two in the back filled up really quickly. That's interesting. Nice. So I can actually just make a full-time job here. Just of like scooping a couple scoops and then emptying the buckets again to fill up the magnetite. That's really crazy. I, just, I don't understand how that works, but whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock it or anything. Puts extra cash in my pocket. Then we're gonna need it because of all the uh, all the expenses we're gonna incur with that fancy front end loader. So now I have a very different problem. I'm scooping dirt in this thing so fast it can't keep up. I have full buckets of magnets again there too. Uh, so we're at 62 percent in terms of gold, but every time I dump dirt in this, I'm getting. You know, 50, 60 percent full. Oh, that was a terrible dump. All right, so so much for 50, 60 percent. 
Uh, but that's what I've been getting is like a 50, 50 to 60 percent full hopper, which means that I can't dump as much of this dirt in there as I would like to, uh, because I'm I'm getting ahead of it. So that, that one was at least sixty percent full, and then if I get over here quickly and make another scoop, head back over. Now I've got still got thirty some odd percent in there. Not so bad this time, but I, I, I did hit a spot there where I was actually losing pay dirt because I was filling it up too fast. Having this nice this nice pile of pay right here makes it really easy to scoop full buckets and get it over to the get over to the wash plant quickly, which is kind of nice uh, as long as I don't overfill it. It's in the nineties. Yeah, see, now i got to sit and wait again. So maybe not uh, maybe not the most efficient setup. Maybe I need to have, like, maybe I need two wash plants. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a little more money in the bank, though, because I, I don't really want to take out another loan and incur more, more financial wrath. All right, that'll be enough to fill up our first gold bucket. I think I'm going to call it a wrap on the video for today, though. I'm going to continue to fill up some buckets of gold. See what kind of money we can earn. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll hopefully get some more workers. I'm going to empty out these magnetite buckets again because they're obviously full. Thirty-eight percent. So that didn't get me nearly as much this time. Not sure why. Or did it? No, no, I was at twenty-eight percent. Okay, so that did get me up to th up to thirty-eight. That should get me to forty-eight. Yep. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's already it's already filling up again. <laughs> I haven't even put another scoop of dirt in this thing. It must still be processing the stuff that was there. Now this looks awfully brown. That 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 looks more like that doesn't look like magnetite. That looks like gold water, but what do we get this time? Fifty two percent now. So not bad. I mean this front one seems to give me the worst the worst output. The two back ones seem to do the best. Is that full again? I don't think this is actually full, but we got some more in here. 62%. Man, that was full again. I didn't even put another scoop of dirt in it yet. No, oh, come on. All right. Pretty sweet. Uh, I do like how quickly I can move the dirt when I pile it up with the front end loader, but I do wonder if I've actually created a different problem now and then I'm getting dirt too fast. But I'll kind of muck around here a little bit, maybe try to build a pile of pay, and then maybe we'll get a second wash plant so we can work through that. But thanks, everyone, for checking out the video. I do hope you enjoy these and you come back and check out some more. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.